Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a shop with me at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I found quite a bit of stuff. I like to do these videos maybe a couple times a month. And basically, I just take you into TJ Maxx and Marshalls with me. And we go looking for like the newest like high-end makeup that hits the stores. And basically, I just like hold up the products and show the prices. So you guys can see pretty much everything that is newer at those stores. So these are things I found within the past couple of weeks. So you should start seeing these things or maybe you have already, but let's go ahead and get started. So at TJ Maxx, they don't really have a ton of stuff today, but they do have this Lily Lashes brush on lash adhesive, which I've seen a couple of people finding, but I might pick this up because I can never have enough lash glue. And this is for $4.99, so definitely grabbing that one. And then this is newer too that I've seen at TJ Maxx at least, the Stila Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector. I actually really used to like this product, so it's really funny to see this here. I feel like it's been discontinued now, but they're selling it for $9.99 and it is a foundation. This is something that I just used to throw on like when I was filming just to touch up. I've seen a few Anastasia singles here, which I know I've seen them in the past, like maybe a year ago, but the singles are $3.99. This is the color Suede. And then we have Rich Velvet. So these would be awesome if you guys want to like pick up a few to make a little magnetic palette. I know I have a few in mind, so definitely an awesome deal. They have some stuff from Murad I've been noticing, which is one of my favorite brands. You guys know I found the um, Blotting Perfector at Marshalls, but they also have it here. But they also have this Hydro Glow Aqua Peel. So this looks really interesting. It comes with four treatments. And then the box is kind of banged up on this one, but... Let's see if it has a price. I found another one, $16.99. And then they have the Age Reform Rejuvenating AHA Hand Cream as well, which is $7.99. Smashbox Primer Water. Last time I think I found the coconut one, and then this one is the um, Vibe and Thrive one. I'm looking for the cucumber, but these are $20, so $19.99. This is the one with Nicole Concilio, but... It's still like a little pricey, you know, for Smashbox. They also have this little mini Sun Bunny bronzer from Too Faced. And this is $3.99 and it is the like deluxe size. So I thought that was super cute too. I love redone stuff, so I thought I would show you guys. But I never find canisters. I'm not going to buy them because I have enough. Like last year, I totally would have bought these in a heartbeat. But they have the hold canister and this cute little Valentine's Day hugs canister as well, which is so cute. I'm not much of like a holiday decorator, but I do like this one. I was debating on it, but I was like, Ugh, I don't know what I would do with it, but it is really cute. Okay, so voice over time since it is so loud, there are so many people talking, but I found another shade of the Anastasia Matte Lipsticks in Latte. I think this is a newer shade that I have not seen yet at TJ Maxx, and they also had this shade in Spice, and these are $7.99. I really do like these lipsticks. I also found this Clinique Even Better Makeup with SPF 15. I think it's just like kind of an evener. Um, this is in the shade WN12 and it's just kind of supposed to even the complexion. It's probably a light coverage and this is what it looks like here for $8.99. Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself, <laughs> um, but a really good price on that and then that's what it looks like. And then we found this really nice matte lipstick set from Anastasia. They are deluxe sizes, but they seem like they have a lot of product in them, and it's really popular shade. So you get six of these for $16.99, which is a really good price in my opinion. It's like $3 per lipstick, which is pretty reasonable. And then they also had this other one as well when it shows up. I guess I'm still showing the matte one. There's another one, this one, the pink one. This one is retailing for $14.99, and it has these really bright pinks. And then I also found another Clinique foundation, the Even Better Glow in WN30. So this is just supposed to be more of a glowy, dewy foundation. They also had a really cute Too Faced La Creme lipstick in Naked Dolly, and this one unfortunately was swatched, so that's annoying, but it is $3.99, but this is a deluxe size. It's not a full size. It's kind of tricky because the packaging looks like it is, but it's actually a really small size, and then I also found these e.l.f. palettes, the Velvet Touch eyeshadow palettes. I remember I wanted to buy these like maybe sometime last year. They are going for $4.99, and I really like this cool mist selection. 
collection. And then they also have this one too, these more warm tones called Island Breeze. So those are $4.99. And I really love this one. That's why I'm showing you again. And then I did find this really awesome brush set, which I'm so excited about, from BH Cosmetics. And it is beautiful. It has 11 brushes. It has this beautiful polka dot case around it. And the brushes have polka dots too. And it's only $9.99, which is an awesome price for 10 brushes. That is awesome. Also, I stumbled upon this sleep shirt. What the heck? This is so cute. It says, eat, sleep, TJ Maxx, repeat. Like, that is just my life in a shirt. I moved to a different area because it was really busy in the makeup aisle, but I put some stuff in my cart to show you. But I'm really wanting this. It's the Smashbox of Blaze Face Palette. I've been really looking for this. It has two blushes, two bronzers, and highlighters for $12.99. Although, I'm really upset because it is, like, barely, barely swatched. Just this deep color which I honestly wouldn't even use that shade, but everything else has not even been touched. So I'm just like, I don't know, like, do I do it? Because, I don't know, I feel like that's not that bad. I don't know, what do you guys think? I really am wanting this palette, and for $12.99, it's such a good price. <sighs> I don't know. It's so frustrating when people swatch stuff, but I might get it. I also found a new glitter and glow highlighter from Stila in the shade Queen, which is a new color I haven't seen here yet. It's like a dual chrome, like purpley lavender. And these are $7.99. I also found four shades of these Stila Vivid and Vibrant Eyeshadow Duos for $5.99. I believe these are duo little glitters. So let's see what they look like. So this is Labradorite, I believe that's how you say it. So very dark, deep kind of glitter. This one is Jade. That one's really pretty. It has like a lighter green and then a deeper like emerald color. Very gorgeous. I don't know if I'd wear these shades though. I wish there was something a little more neutral, but I do like the price. $5.99 is awesome. And then here is Amethyst, which has these purples. This one's my birthstone, so it kind of makes me want it because I love purple. I mean, it'd be fun to try it, so maybe I'll pick this one up. Last one, which is Sapphire. So I'm kind of excited to see if there's any other colors in these because I would love some more neutral ones. So, my store has three of these Too Faced Bronze Peach Little Cream Bronzers. And I just find it weird that all three of them look like they've been touched. But I'm like, I feel like that's not possible. I would like everyone touch like different ones. That doesn't make sense to me. But it's super annoying. But there's literally three of them here. And I was really looking for this collection. So far, I've only found this one. This is the Bronze Peach Melting Powder Bronzer from them. And it's going for $10.99. I know some people have been finding the blushes as well, but so far I've just found this one. Like some of the Too Faced um, Unicorn stuff is coming back as well. They had this earlier last year, or later last year. <laughs> um, this is one of the highlighters, the Unicorn Horn Highlighter, and it's going for $9.99 in the shade Unicorn Tears. This is just a cream highlight. I also have this from Bare Minerals. I might have shown this before, but it looks gorgeous. It's from their Stardust collection, which is probably a holiday collection. It's their Deluxe Mineral Veil, which is literally just a finishing powder. Um, it's pretty, it's translucent, and you get this beautiful big like packaging. And this is going for 10 bucks. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. As you can see, it's originally $40. So that is literally a steal. I kind of want this, but <laughs> I really don't need any more setting powders in my life. We're at TJ Maxx from Anastasia in Honey. It's actually a beautiful, warm nude. It is stunning, honestly. Um, for $7.99 for that one, I'm really tempted by this because this is such a pretty color. They also have a couple glosses. This one is in Grape Jelly. That's kind of fun for $7.99. They have some like neon ones. I feel like these are from like a summer collection maybe. They also have the shade Sunset Strip, which looks like a fun orange. And these are $7.99. The um, Peach Frost Highlighter for $10.99 from Too Faced and Happy Face. And it looks like it's not swatched. It has some weird thing going on, but I think it's from just being in shipment because um, I checked it. But it's $10.99 for that one. And I think I'm going to get it. So saw um, Too Faced Glow Job Glitter Mask as well here for $19.99. I just love the packaging on this one. This is the pink tiara shade, which I think is their original one. 
I also found this, which is kind of interesting. It's from Buxom. It's their Lash Liner Brush, which I have not seen this before. It's only $2.99, and it says that you're supposed to use it to fill in your lash base for longer, fuller, foxy lashes. So, interesting. Never really seen a product like this at all before. Hey guys, I am at Marshalls, and I wanted to show you guys their amazing skincare section right now. I'm at a really like good Marshalls. Like their beauty section is huge, but I'm so shocked by all the skincare. So I see a ton of Stryvectin, which I know they sell that at Ulta, and a ton of Shiseido as well that I haven't seen before. Like this Wet Force BB Broad Spectrum for $14.99. There's like a liquid foundation behind there, anti-aging, a firming massage mask from Shiseido for 29. There's this anti-dark circles eye cream. This one is $34.99. And then this is their power infusing concentrate. I feel like this is one of their really popular products. And this is $39.99. There's an instant eye and lip makeup remover. Sorry, I'm trying to talk louder because usually in these videos, you can barely hear me and I have to like turn my volume way up. <laughs> so this is $16.99 for that makeup remover. Can you guys believe all this stuff? There's the Ibuki Eye Correcting Cream for $14.99, the Quick Fix Mist, like so much. And then real quick, I wanted to show you guys as well, there's a ton of Algenis products. So we have Firming and Lifting Cream for $19.99. A Sublime Defense Ultra Lightweight UV Defense Fluid, so basically sunscreen for $19.99. Algoronic Acid and Propeptide um, Contouring Cream for $19.99. And a Reconstructing Serum for $29.99 from Alginus. And then I want to show you guys down here, I saw one Murad product, so I had to show you. But I love Murad skincare. This is the Pore Rescue Matte Effect Blotting Perfector. This is $9.99. That seems like a good price. I'm going to have to look up some reviews on these products because I want some, but I'm not really sure what I want. So I looked this up on Sephora. They're still selling it for $40. So I might actually try this. It's like a cushion. And somehow it's supposed to like remove oil and stuff. So my skin's been pretty oily. So I might go ahead and try this out. I also looked up this one on Sephora and this is one of their best sellers and it is going for $70 retail so $40 is a pretty good price for this. So the only good makeup item I found at this Marshalls location was this Buxom set. It looks like a holiday set and it's called Ferocious Flirt and it comes with an eye palette and um, one of their lip polishes. So that's really cool. I haven't seen their palettes here before but I really like these shades. Although I probably wouldn't use these colors so much because there's only one matte and it's super light. But this is going for $19.99 for this set. I hit the jackpot on Too Faced Peach um, Cream products. They have literally every shade. I found everything I wanted and nothing was touched, so that is incredible. But yeah, they have Peach Dream for $10.99, Ginger Peach for $10.99 as well. Obviously, you guys probably already know that. <laughs> peach My Cheeks and Peach Berry. We have the bronze peach in toasted peach or whatever, the peach frost in happy face. And then I feel like that is everything. Peach my peach, peach dream. Yeah, they have literally every color, so that is awesome. Thank you, Marshalls. This is really cute. Um, from Living Proof at Marshalls, they have this instant defrizzer. And it comes with this little sleep mask as well, or an eye mask, which is adorable. This is a $29 like kit, and Marshalls has it for $14.99. I actually saw one of these too at TJ Maxx, and I did not show it because I was like leaving. And I was like, uh, it doesn't matter, it's just hair stuff. But let me know if you guys like seeing hair stuff. They had one with the dry shampoo, so that was pretty cool. But I didn't want to show you guys that. Marshalls also has this really cute Eva NYC like curling wand. It looks really nice. The Galaxy print. Oh my gosh, that's a really good price. $19.99 for this one. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I found Shiseido facial cottons. These are my favorite. It is a small little pack, but I'm totally gonna buy these if they're a good price. $2.99. Yes, definitely snagging these. 
These are like the softest facial towels. They're amazing for like taking off makeup, doing a toner, anything. So grabbing that. But I also see something exciting behind here from Bosha. It says, feeling flawless set. It comes with, looks like deluxe sizes of their Illuminizing Black Mask, Purifying Cleansing Gel. Uh, that middle one looks like it is a moisturizer. <laughs> Sorry guys, had to zoom in. And then their Charcoal Deep Pork Floating Peel Gel. That is awesome. It is originally $36. And here it is $24.99. So not like too much of a price difference, like 10 bucks off basically, but super cute little set. This Marshalls always has like the most skincare. I swear they have more skincare than makeup. Like the makeup section is awful. It's like, this is the makeup, okay? One little stand and then this little stand. And then their skincare is like two giant rows and they've been having really good stuff lately. I showed some things last time and I can't remember everything I showed, but like, let's do some algae and stuff. They have hydrating essence toner lotion, it says. Interesting. For $12.99, and they have such a good price on the Alginus products. There's a color correcting eye serum concealer. That's new. This one is in medium. It looks like they only have medium, so oh, darn it. I would have bought it if it was in like fair or light. This is $5.99. That's actually really interesting. And then this is the Advanced Wrinkle Fighter Eye Serum. That sounds incredible. This one is $19.99 for that. And then they do have these color correcting radiant primers. This one is in Universal for $5.99. There's some Bosha stuff. They have new packaging of the Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. They're selling this one for $7.99, which is a really good price. They also have this Charcoal Makeup Melter. I feel like I found this before. And this one is $9.99. All right, this looks interesting. It's a Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask. For all skin types, that looks really cool for $9.99. So I might consider this one. I love doing face masks. All right, so now it is time for the haul portion of my video, which is my favorite part. And I did not expect to buy so much, but I think I was just so excited for new stuff that I was like, yes, let's buy it all. So I went a little overboard. Um, so let's start with TJ Maxx. So I did end up picking up that Ablaze face palette. I just um, sanitized it and um, kind of messed with it. So you guys know in my clip, it did have a little swatch on this shade here, but that was fine to me. All I did was spray some alcohol on there and then I scraped off the top layer. So then it should be fine. I'm not super worried about it. It was just a tiny little swatch. So that doesn't like bother me too much because I haven't seen this anywhere else and I've been wanting it, but ugh, it is so beautiful. I am loving these colors. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you. All right, so sorry if these swatches are terrible, but here is the gist of what they look like. You have some really pretty orangey blushes and then your bronzers and highlights there and these look like they're really gonna be gorgeous shades I love bright blushes and it was $12.99 which was awesome I also picked up this this was kind of random I didn't show it in um, my video I picked up this almond moisturizing bath bar it's basically just a really fancy bath soap and it is humongous this one was $3.99 and it smells so good. Almond is one of my favorite scents. It just smells really fancy and then like a hint of almond. I'm just going to throw this in my shower and use it because it just smells so good. And then I also grabbed this e.l.f. Velvet Touch Eyeshadow Palette in Cool Mist, which I showed you guys. I got this one because it had some more interesting colors like the blues. Let me swatch a couple. Oh my gosh, these literally feel like a cream shadow i should have picked up the other one these are beautiful i might have to grab the other one if i go back because these feel like um like the color pop almost single shadows like their bouncy ones i don't know if that's right but oh my gosh really happy with this cannot wait to use it and then i also found some lily lashes that they had um these are the sephora collection and so these were $7.99. I just decided to grab them. They're supposed to be a, usually, I think they're like, what, like $20, bucks, $25 a pair. So this was the first pair that I've actually seen at TJ Maxx. So I had to grab them. They look like this. They're like really dramatic, but 
I might have to trim them down and try them out. And then to go with that, I also picked up the Lily Lashes Brush On Lash Adhesive. So I'm hoping that this works really good. I'm actually almost out of lash glue. Um, so had to have this one for $4.99. And then I picked up this Anastasia Matte Lipstick Set. I just could not let this one go. It was such a good price. $16.99 for six full-size lipsticks, which is awesome. So I'm an idiot. These are actually deluxe sizes. For some reason, they looked like full sizes in the thing, but these are not. But that's okay. Um, so we have the shade Plumeria, which is like this really pretty um, berry-toned color. When it's Dusty Mauve, I do have this in a full size. It's a really pretty color. We have Ruby, which looks like a really nice just matte red. And then we have Latte. This one is Peachy. And we have Brandy. Alright, so that is the little set, which I totally thought was full size, but... I still think it's worth it. And then I did pick up this little mini guy of the Too Faced La Creme lipstick. This is in Nude Beach. This is Nude Beach. Ooh, that's really pretty. It's a fun, like, spring color. And this is, like, the baby size. It's such a little guy. But, like I said, I really enjoy mini sizes. And this was $3.99. And then... I picked up just two of these Stila Vivid and Vibrant Eyeshadow Duos. So I did pick up the Jade color, which I showed in the video. But I won't be swatching this one because this is for a surprise video later. And then we have Amethyst, which I will swatch this because I bought this one for myself. And these are $5.99. And they look like this. And then they're like a little glitter duo. Um, I would love to find these in more neutral shades, but for now. Okay, so here's kind of what it looks like. So I'm guessing you put this one down first. It's kind of like a creamy kind of base. And then you apply this on top, the glitter. And so then it's supposed to stick to that and just create a lot more. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's okay. But... I'll try it on my eyes and see how it goes. So that is everything from TJ Maxx. And I'll show you guys what I got from Marshalls. Because I found quite a bit there as well. The first thing from Marshalls, I picked up the Shiseido Facial Cottons, of course. This is the smaller size. So you get 40 sheets in here for $2.99. I also did decide to grab the Bosha Matcha Magic Mask. This is actually still for sale on Sephora. So I thought it was such a good deal. Only $10. And you really can't go wrong with face masks. So this is what it looks like. And then, oh my gosh, this is so fun. It smells really good as well. So I'm always like super curious about the skincare. I always say this in my videos. But, like I'm always worried it's going to be like old. And I know skincare can go bad kind of fast. But I feel like this is a newer product. So we are seeing some fairly newer products at TJ Maxx. So this one does have an expiration date. It says April 6th of 2021. So... I literally still have a ton of time to use this up, basically three years, so that is really good. I wonder why this is at TJ Maxx, that's crazy, unless they're like clearancing it out, but yeah, I'm going to be looking for <laughs> the expiration dates on skincare products before I buy them because that is just like really helpful. And then the rest of the stuff is all the Too Faced Peach cheeky products so I have a few of the blushes this is peach dream they had these for $10.99 and these really are not that old either but they do go on sale a lot because not a lot of people like them I feel like it's always mixed reviews so this one is um, peach dream this is really pretty I don't use a lot of cream products but I want to try and use more so I thought it would be fun to just pick these all up and they smell incredible. Um, the Too Faced Peach line is like one of my favorite lines ever in makeup that's ever come out. I also have the Peach Frost Highlighter in Happy Face. This one is more of a subtle highlight. I don't know if you can see it there. Oh yeah, you can see it a little bit. I have heard so many mixed opinions on these products, so I'm kind of nervous about it. And then I have a Pinch of Peach Blush. I'm so happy I found these unswatched because... Every single time they were like swatched so bad. This is more like a nude. And then last but not least, I have the bronzer in Toasted Peach. And unfortunately this one is about to come out. 
and maybe that's why they're at TJ Maxx because they're kind of defective but I don't know I might be able to super glue that down hopefully but I'm guessing that's why they're at TJ Maxx oh this is a really nice shade okay really excited about those finds i know there's been so many good things at marshall's and tg max lately i originally went looking for the becca the new becca stuff they have some of their holiday stuff the chrissy Teigen collection the volcano goddess palette i think it's called but for some reason i just can't find that stuff but i did find a lot more so that is going to be it for my video today hope you guys enjoy it let me know down below like some of your favorite items that you found at tj maxx like if you guys have any just like favorite products or if there's any products you've bought and you hated because that's definitely happened to me as well but that's me for my video thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys later bye guys